everyone. So this week I've had major problems both with the load I was doing plus my pump. And I thought my pump had gone bad on me. And I've been I've had the pump for almost two years, using it very regularly, twice, maybe sometimes three times a week. And uh, last week it would get down to about 700 millitors and then it wouldn't go no farther than that. So I went through my checklist, checked all my hoses and my seal and all that stuff and now nah, it wouldn't work. But luckily when I bought my freeze dryer I had a, I bought a spare pump and I bought that for two reasons. Number one, I wouldn't have any downtime. And number two, it would help me in diagnosing my problems where I could isolate the pump and make sure it wasn't the pump gone bad. So I put my new pump on there and it worked perfectly. So that told me it was something wrong with my pump. So being the frugal person that I am, I immediately went to Harvest Right and ordered me another pump so that I'd have a backup. Then over the weekend I got to looking online and uh, I saw a video on how to flush your vacuum pump. Now this was for the JB pump but I thought, well, I'll try that using the same principle for the Harvest Right standard pump. So I did that, I flushed it, and it worked perfectly. So what I'm going to do today is show you, this is like a last resort. You've tried everything else, still can't achieve uh, that vacuum. Try flushing it before you buy another pump. So I'm going to take you through this on how to do it, on uh, how to do a flush. So remove your cap there. I got a cup of fresh oil. And what I'm going to do, I got the valve open, the drain valve open, my cap on, and my power switch off. And this is plugged into the wall. So what I'm going to do is just take, take this a funnel, put it in your hose connection there, and put some uh, oil in there, and then turn it on. Look at that. See that? What that does is it backflows everything into your pump and shoves it out, shoves it out your drain port. And I did this in the bucket because as you see it comes out of there with some force and that's why I did this outside as well because you will get some off gassing from the filter. The directions actually say to remove the filter and plug that up when you push it through but this works fine for me and uh, that's it. That's all there is to it. That's, a, that's called a flush. So now I could turn that off, fill it back up with oil, connect it back, uh, connect it back up to my uh, freeze dryer fill it up with oil and just see if that solves your problem. It did mine and almost instantly, I mean I did a test, vacuum test on it and it got down to uh, below 500 millitors in five and a half minutes with an empty freeze dryer. So I'm happy with that and it's working perfectly now. I've run two loads since then and super happy. So I hope this helps you. If you did, let me know. And uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.